Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And thanks to everyone for joining our call today. I'm Harsh Kumar, Senior Principal Product Manager at ServiceNow. Joining me today is Alex Khan. Alex is Senior Partner Alliance Manager at Ashi Corp. And today we are excited to talk about newly launched Ashi Corp Credential Resolver plugin on ServiceNow Store. In this call, we will talk about step-by-step -step Ashi Corp Vault credential setup and show you how customers can retrieve credentials from Ashi Corp Vault for ServiceNow Discovery and Integration Hub Flows. First off, I will hand it over to Alex to walk us through Ashi Corp Vault and credential setup. Over to you, Alex. Thank you, Harsh. As Harsh mentioned, HashiCorp has released a new integration with ServiceNow for service discovery. So this integration will allow ServiceNow mid-servers to use credentials retrieved from Vault for the purpose of discovery. So Harsh and I will show you how to configure and install the credential resolver both from a ServiceNow operator perspective and as a Vault administrator perspective. Since most mid servers are deployed on Windows machines, I'm going to show you how to install Vault Agent on a Windows service and the same uh, on the same instance as a as a mid server. And so we use Vault Agent to handle authentication between HashiCorp Vault and the mid server in order to handle caching and renewing of these secrets, as well as to make sure we have the high performance and the load on the main Vault server is is minimized. So we've made some assumptions that you're already familiar with Vault and already have app role method enabled in it and have downloaded the Vault Windows binary from the HashiCorp's release site onto your computer. So let me minimize this window. I will bring up the Vault. So here I, for example, I have the Vault exe uh, as well as uh, the config file. So I'm gonna break this demo into two steps. One, configuring the Vault agent, and then the second step, of installing the installing Vault Agent as a Windows service. And so note, you will need to have a, a couple of PowerShell sessions open, one with, in order to configure Vault Agent to speak with the, the main Vault server, we're gonna need to configure a couple of variables. And please note for this demo that we're actually using HashiCorp's newest, newest managed service called ATP Vault. And so I'll show uh, a couple of examples of how we're actually using that as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start up a, a PowerShell session. We are going to set some environment variables that connect to our ACP cluster. So if you notice, you'll see eight vault dot cluster dot a couple of things dot AWS dot HashiCorp dot com. Let's go ahead and enter that in. And then we also, because we're running this on HCP vault, we need to set the namespace since HCP vault runs vault enterprise. The next thing that we're going to need to do is actually log into our vault instance. So let me go ahead and do that. And now we're logged in. So first thing we're going to do, need to do is create a new app role role with a mid-server policy. And this policy is what gives us the authentication to be able to retrieve the various credentials that are stored in the KV Secrets engine. All right, we're done there. Now we need to actually generate our role ID and secret ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And as you notice this command, we're gonna be getting the, the role ID and we're actually gonna output it into a file in role ID, which will be located in this folder here. And there it is. Now we need to do the same thing for the secret ID. And we see the secret ID has been here. And then, so let me have a look at what our config file says. So we have our config file. 
It's going to say it's a process, so we'll see what process it's running when it starts up. An agent will be running on a local host here. It is connecting to our vault cluster, again, our ACP vault cluster, uh, which is located here. Uh, and then we have the namespace that we set as well as admin. And then, of course, these role ID and secret file IDs that we just, uh, we just created. So to test this out, I want to actually make sure that this will work before we install this as a service. So let me just start this up real quickly, make sure we can, we're able to connect to Vault. And it looks great. So we see our, our auth token has been renewed. So let me cancel this and shut that down. Next, we're going to open up a, a PowerShell with an administrator privilege. And so we're just going to double check to see if Vault Agent actually has been installed in this as a server. So there's a service called sc.exe, which allows you to install uh, commands on, as a Windows service. And it's a pretty useful utility. So let me just query Vault. OK, we do not see it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the Vault Agent. And so this C is here. So this is our, our exe file, and as well as the config file, and what name of the vault agent will be in, in the services folder. So let's go ahead and do that. And now, just for fun, we're going to reopen. Let's see here. Refresh this. And we see that we have vault agent here, that it's not running. So let's go ahead and start vault agent. Now, the nice thing, let me move this back a little bit. So let's start it. And you will, will see in the top here, the agent PID file. So it tells us that Vault Agent is running. So that is the, the extent of this demo. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I will hand it back over to Harsh. Thanks, Alex. Setting up Ashi Corp Vault on ServiceNow is as seamless as possible. Customers need to go to plugin page on ServiceNow instance and install ASHI Corp Vault Credential Resolver plugin. Upon install, customers will start seeing external credential store option on ServiceNow credentials table. For setting up credentials, ServiceNow admins need two inputs. One is the vault address. Customers can take this vault address and set this vault address on mid-server property. So in this case, I'm taking this vault address and I'm using a mid-server called mid-ashi and setting up the vault address on mid-server property. Now, once I have set up the vault address, I need to set up the credential IDs provided by the vault admin. Now, in this case, I go to credentials table, create a new credentials. Now, in this case, the credential ID provided by the vault admin is Windows credentials. So I'm going to pick the Windows credentials. Call it as basic Windows credential. And check the external credential store checkbox. And use the cred ID provided by the vault admin. And I'm going to test this credential ID on a specific mid server. Credentials have been validated. Now, let me run a quick discovery on an IP address that meets this credentials and see if it works. 
Let me save this credentials. Let me go to discovery schedules. Do a quick discovery on this target IP. It looks like the discovery is completed. Now, let me go to credentials table and see if the credential affinity has been created for the credentials that I just created. So credential affinity has been created for this IP address. So to summarize, Customers need to install Ashley Corp Vault Credential Resolver plugin and add that vault address to the mid, mid server and create credentials with the credential ID provided by the vault admin and use that for discovery or running workflows. So thank you for listening and look forward to workflow IT together. Thank you.